All right, thanks for watching. And today we're going to calculate a really, really, really cool integral. And we're not going to calculate the integral of the gamma function because I think this is slight, maybe impossible to do, but we'll calculate the integral of something slightly harder, which turns out to be easier. Namely, we'll calculate the integral of a log of the gamma function, but with endpoints from 0 to 1. And again, which is very interesting because if you have a function, the bigger the function, the harder it is to differentiate it. But sometimes with integrals, the bigger the function, the easier it is to integrate it. And just to remind you, what is the gamma function? The gamma function is a, um, what's called um, a generalization of the factorial. And it's simply given by gamma of x. It's the integral from 0 to infinity of t to the x minus 1 e of minus t dt. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, this is a weird shifting thing with the x minus 1, but really it's supposed to uh, behave like the factorial. And today we're going to calculate the integral of ln of that. So it seems crazy, but it's actually super elegant because we're not going to do this directly. We're going to use one of the formulas that's very important with the gamma function, which is called the Euler reflection formula, which is given as follows. Gamma of x times gamma of one minus x. It's simply pi over sine of, not pi m, but pi x. And of course it's for x not an integer, which is okay, because here x, if you want, is strictly between 0 and 1, which is not an integer. And there is a video on this, very beautiful, you should check it out. But for today, let's just take this for granted. And the question is, well, how can we break this up? Well, we'll just apply ln to both sides. So if you do ln of this and ln of that, then you get ln of this equals to ln of that. And then we know ln likes to break up things. So we get ln of gamma of x plus ln of gamma of 1 minus x equals ln of pi minus ln of sine of pi x. I know special appearance, but ln degenerates. And here's a cool thing. Well, we have this very complicated formula, but uh, we're just going to simplify it a little bit, surprisingly. So just integrate this from 0 to 1. 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Yes, I did not forget about the dx. So dx is everywhere. And the rest is neat. So the left-hand side is what we want, this first term. That's the integral from 0 to 1 of ln of gamma. So we get the integral from 0 to 1 of ln of gamma of x, dx. And what can we do here? Well, here, if you want, we can just use a u substitution. If u equals to 1 minus x, then this becomes 1 minus 0, which is 1, 1 minus 1, which is 0, ln of gamma of u, but now du is minus dx, so dx is minus du. So in other words, even though we have a minus, the order is wrong here too. So what happens is this integral gets rectified and it gets wrecked and you get the left-hand side. So it turns out this hard integral is actually the same as our original integral. But we'll come back to that. And then, well, this is just a constant integral of ln of pi from 0 to 1. So it becomes ln of pi times 1 minus 0, which is ln of pi. 
And for this one, let's just use a u substitution. So let u be sine of pi x. Sorry, u be pi x. I'll get to that. So it becomes integral from pi times 0, which is 0, pi times 1, which is pi, ln of sine of pi, sorry, sine of u. And well, u is pi x, so du is pi dx, so dx is 1 over pi du. Okay, And then, what do we get? As I said, this integral just becomes the same, so 2 times our integral, it's integral from 0 to 1, ln of gamma of x equals ln of pi minus 1 over pi integral from 0 to pi ln of sine of x sine of u sine of x Just writing it back in terms of the x variables we get this and the cool thing is also for this thing I've done a video already so and if you calculate this and it's also a very beautiful video, thanks to Zach Lee, that he has a very uh, elegant way of solving this. And I think the result becomes, oh, mm, so this thing is uh, pi over, so minus pi over 2, ln of 2, times 2. And why do I write this in this way? Because technically in the video, I just calculated the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of this thing. And I find minus pi over 2 ln of 2. But the question is, how do you calculate the integral from 0 to pi of this? Well, there's actually a nice symmetry involved. Because the integral from 0 to pi of the region, I guess, above this function, it's simply 2 times the integral from 0 to pi over 2. So in another video I've done this, you multiply it by 2, and the nice thing is this gets cancelled out, and not only that, the pi's get cancelled out, and the minuses get cancelled out. So in the end, what you get, it's, um, sorry, did I, yeah, so uh, 2 times integral from 0 to 1, ln of gamma of x, equals ln of pi plus ln of 2, which is really ln of 2 pi. So ln of pi times 2. And in the end, oh, I forgot my dx's. Don't be mad at me, black pen, red pen. But we get integral from 0 to 1 ln of gamma of x dx. It's 1 half ln of 2 pi. Let me just double check. Yep, that's exactly what I got. So, in the end we get this. And isn't that amazing? It, it seems like it would be a crazy hard integral to calculate, but it turns out no, because we have this beautiful Euler reflection formula, and we have this neat little integral that I calculated in another video. Um, so I hope you like this. If you want to see more math and more integrals, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.